if you're still waiting for the android pi on a device so you better wait because android q is already out for the supported devices it is the beta one unlike the last year when the company used to release the preview one then after that there is a beta but now it is beta and uh, there would be almost five to six betas last year it was beta five up to then after that finally so this is march april may june july so you already have four to five months and uh, supported devices are only pixel devices if you have any nexus phones 6 6p whatever uh, you are not applicable the first generation pixel pixels 2 and the current generation pixel pixel 3s are the only applicable devices it is very easy to install i will show you how to install it but if you try to install it uh, please take the backup because betas are you know it's not like that they are terrible some of your applications may not work for example if you're using any backing application anything which may be important for you it may or may not work so do not try to stall on your primary phone as of now uh, try to stall on the beta 2 beta 3 those are more stable now how to stall the android q on on the supported pixel devices you just have to open the uh, browser you can use mobile or computer whichever you have and you have to go to the address google.com slash android slash beta and make sure you use the same uh, google you know google address gmail address uh, on this chrome i mean to sign in and uh, on this phone both should be same then you will get the notice you know update once you go there you will see view eligible devices what are devices you know eligible currently pixel devices are applicable and your eligible devices whatever devices you have pixel phones it will show me show you there so i already enrolled on the pixel 2 xl and if you you know once you stall and you want to get it out you have to click on the opt out and uh, it will send you a new pi bill and hopefully it will completely erase your data so be sure to take complete backup so i just want to show you one quick thing here right here on the top you can see uh, there is a battery percentage now so a very small difference is there and there's no change on the boot animations everything exactly same like the way you are seeing it all right so this is how uh, your android queue looks so mostly same what you see on the android Pi currently and here also it is exactly same not too much difference at all so this is a google of feed which is again same on the launcher there are a few things like the icons have been moved to the developer links. i will show you how where it is that and everything exactly same you may see some kind of uh, warning as of now so that's a beta so it's pretty much you know acceptable you will see that and here is everything same that's the outer exterior look inside the settings you can see still it is same one or two new features icons features added like the privacy is added that's something new and uh, most things are still there digital well-being and other things are still there all right so first i want to show you something here starting with the easter egg how does a new easter egg look looks like is there any change no you can still see as of now the android q right here once you tap it you will see there is a q and if you just try to check out the easter egg it will be exactly same as a pi like i said this is beta one hopefully in the beta four and five it will change but if you just keep on long pressing it you will get uh, some new markup tool so that's your new markup tool i don't know what does it mean but it is there you can actually just name it as a q 10.0 so that's your android q it looks like you can erase it or there's some zooming tool pretty much simple so this is a standard markup tool you can get that build number is the qpp1 so based on that it will show you all right now uh, one thing you should notice here i want to show you yeah, this is the battery percentage here is still there on the pi but once you just slide it down you can see it shows uh, one day five hours left that means it is a prediction uh, it obviously it will change for device to device and every time it just changes so it's a good thing actually you can have an idea you know based on your current device usage uh, how much you know you're going to get how long your battery will last so this is something good and if it's this slide here it will simply disappear you can see the disappearing act is great and here i checked there's nothing new all things are same it's just a new fancy q icon so hopefully it should be something similar you know when the final thing will come on the easter egg so that's the new option and uh, on the power there is an emergency once you click it will show you some emergency number you can dial finding a location and where you are currently show you the dial pad you can click cancel this is something new you know added by the location okay now there's some notification changes too here you can see i just texted from other phone to here all right so if you just slide here 
you can dismiss it right now earlier you can dismiss it in either way but here you cannot and uh, you can actually unfold it to see and you can just expand it to see the details and options there's an option to snooze it for up to two hours okay and uh, it's gone so now if you have to dismiss it you have to just swipe right so this android q is primarily focusing more on the privacy side on you know safety side more for example this is a camera application and if i go to storage and clear all this storage and i'm just going to launch the camera again so see so this is how uh, it's new privacy option for example this is for the location allow all time allow only when the app in use so there's a two benefit safety concern is also there that is a benefit and you know keeping on location every time simply consume the battery so i will just allow only while the app in use so once i will use it it will be there so this is the first and you can exactly see for almost all the application just now similar to the older version of android you do have the same option where you long press it it will take to the respective setting but on the wi-fi if you just long press it and if you just click on the current connected network for example this you see there's a new option the share option now you know that on the android if you want to check the actual android uh, you know wi-fi password you need have to be rooted so that's the problem you know now if you want to share your wi-fi to someone else you just have to click on the share and i just scan your fingerprint it will create a qr code you just have to share it anyone can scan it via any other phone and uh, he will get connect to your wi-fi network you don't need to type in the name you don't need to type in the password it's safe simply later on you can just click on forget and you are good to go so this is something new i guess in the future more or more features or settings will get this kind of option okay now uh, what are the big thing uh, you must be waiting for is the dark mode as of now uh, it is yet not yet there but you can actually enable it see this is the complete white but if you just go and turn on the battery saver see the magic this is the true dark mode okay this is again red battery percentage icon is changed this is what android should be this is not the uh, you know black this is complete dark mode perfectly optimized for the android devices so but yeah it will simply suppress some of the background activity will there so do not try to use it always just use it casually or just make it look like automatic all right now once you go to the developer option there are some further options already have enabled like i told you earlier some things are crashing see tech and support move me the wi-fi if i next time open it it will simply crash so these kinds of things are still there do not try on your primary device already have enabled the developer option go to the system here advanced developer option see this is theming so now uh, i told you about the icon shape that was there on the launcher but now it has been moved to here and there were some more options so i don't know why it is doing that thing and accent color see this is as of now default you can select it the green it will become green purple whatever you want i guess the green was there on the android uh, nougat somewhere don't remember exactly so maybe i will keep it the green it looks slightly different better and font you can change i select the default you can change it if you go to the privacy section here and you can uh, check out like if you want to share the usage report diagnostic reports or if you want to get some ad services and uh, pretty much something so more or less companies are also trying to focus more on the privacy thing apart from these changes also uh, android q is uh, also focusing on the foldable devices like the samsung galaxy fold or mate x maybe in the future many manufacturer will try to bring the foldable phones like we got the notch support with the pi so foldable phone support too and you guys that's pretty much it for the android q wrap up what's new what's not new have a great day